Federal Mogul booth at the Champion Display, and I'm going to talk to Rich Keller about the differences between these spark plugs that they have here, racing versus street. Rich, tell me some of the differences. The difference between a street plug and a racing plug is primarily heat range and the expectation of durability. The standard street plug has long life electrodes on it which lasts a very long time where the racing plug is not expected to do that. We're just expecting it to perform through the life of a race. And what's the, what is the heat range? The heat range is that definition of the uh, capability of the part to conduct heat. Um, they tend to have very cold core noses and also very short ground electrodes. And there's part numbers displayed here. What's the difference in the part numbers? The part numbers are an alphanumeric where basically the first prefix uh, just says what, what it fits. Uh, a C-type is a gasketed design, an S-type is a taper seat design. The gasketed style will fit like a GM or Chrysler, whereas the S-style will fit a Ford typically. Of course, there's a heat range. The heat range go from a cold of 53 to a hot of 65. The 65, if you compared it to an automotive design, would still be substantially colder than you would typically see in a streetcar. Uh, after that, you'll have the prefix in the, in the nomenclature. Uh, some designs are surface gap, which have no ground electrode, to some of the uh, ground electrode style, which have either a short projection or a, a cutback projection. The, if it's cutback, it means it helps keep the uh, part from going into pre-ignition. It also tends to have fairly good spark exposure. Another difference is the projection of the ceramic into the combustion chamber. A little projection is good. If you can get some projection, uh, you tend to get better combustion. So tell me the differences between a surface gap style versus a with ground electrode. The surface gap style was actually created with the marine industry uh, for a heat range issue at the time. Uh, we now have applied it to the motorsports industry where we've had problems with, say, overheating the ground electrode or breakage. Without the ground electrode, it no longer becomes a factor. And this is um, a, a big help to some racers where ground electrodes have been a big problem. Thank you so much, Rich. To check out more information about Champion, make sure to check out Federal Mogul's website at fme-cat.com.